How's it going everyone? So because I have a number of 3DS videos lined up for the future, I wanted to make a video talking about downgrading and basically the required firmware you need in place before you can install custom firmware on your 3DS consoles. I'm going to be uploading a video soon which shows me installing ARM9 loader hacks on my second 3DS console here. The trouble is this is a console that's already on a good firmware for starting the install process. I'm sure that a lot of you guys are going to be above that firmware level. So that's why I'm making this video today to talk about some of the options you have with downgrading and just give you a feel for where the 3DS scene is at at the moment on the latest firmwares. So to start off with, the golden firmware you could possibly have on your 3DS is basically anywhere from 9.0 all the way up to 10.7. If your firmware is within that range, it's very easy to get started with the guide you can just download some files, get the homebrew launcher exploit, and then go ahead and downgrade your system directly. It's very simple, and I'll leave a link to the guide so that you can follow through that in the description if you're within that firmware range. If your firmware is lower than 9.0, you're probably going to want to do something called a cartridge update. That's where you can use a game cartridge to actually update to within the 9.0 to 10.7 range, and then you can go ahead and downgrade just the same as the other users could. Now for the vast majority of you, I'm sure you are above that firmware if you missed the boat back in the early days of custom firmware. So the next firmware above is 11.0, and for the longest time that completely blocked all of the homebrew exploits that we had, as well as custom firmware. So after 11.0 came 11.1, .1, and then the next one is today's firmware, which is current, it's 11.2. So the good news for this video is if you decided to stay put on firmware 11 or even firmware 11.1, .1, something's been released called slow hacks or wait hacks. And that took a long time to come out, but what it actually allows you to do is do the infirm downgrade on your device without needing access to a second 3DS. It does require you to have one of the following DSiWare titles already installed from the eShop, either Field Runners, Legends of Exidia, Guitar Rock Tour, or The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition. So if you stayed on firmware 11 or 11.1, .1, waiting for a downgrade exploit to come available, good news is that Slowhacks is finally here, and I'll leave a link in the description showing how you can get started with that process. Slowhacks got its name because it took so long to come out, and also it actually takes sometimes over an hour to run the exploit as it overflows the system's memory. Quite funny. So that's some good news in the scene. That only just came out uh, several days ago, and it's really useful for those who found out about custom firmware and ARM9 loader hacks after they were already on firmware 11. They decided, damn, I missed this boat, and I'm just never going to do another system update until I can downgrade or until this firmware that I'm on gets hacked. Thankfully, that's now been done. And for the rest of you who are on 11.2 firmware, or today's, well, the bad news is you can't use slow hacks. The good news is there is still two options available to you. So the first one is you can also do an infirm downgrade using DSiWare, but it relies on you having access to a second 3DS which already has custom firmware installed. So this is only really going to be useful to you guys if you have a second 3DS which is already hacked, or if you have a friend who has a hacked 3DS, then you can use their console to help bring your system down to the required firmware. Alternatively, if you don't know anyone or don't have access to a second system that already has custom firmware, if you're wanting to get started with custom firmware on your 3DS today, you'll need to go with a hard mod. So what that means is you'll need to find a trusted vendor. I believe there's a trusted community set up for this sort of purpose on the website GBA Temp. They've got a number of people who offer the downgrade service and who have been validated by fellow users of the forum there. So you send your 3DS away to somebody trusted. They perform the hard mod service for you and then send your console back to you and of course that's going to cost you some money as well as take some time so if you're absolutely sure that you want to get custom firmware on your 3ds and you can't find another secondhand unit around your area or anything like that that might be a good option for you to look into too if you don't have the means or resources to get a hard mod well you'll just have to keep waiting for perhaps a future exploit which could still happen one day that remains to be seen really 
So that covers all the four main different states of firmware that your devices might be on and I'll leave links in the description to each of them if you're wanting to go forward with any of those methods. And yeah, this video is just a stopgap because I'm going to be doing so many 3DS uploads in the future. I know I'm going to get asked the question of how do I install custom firmware. So I made this video so that I can easily link people to the information they need and they can quickly follow through with the links in the 3ds.guide website so they know exactly where they need to be to get started. So I hope this video has helped some of you out. And yeah, you can look forward to watching my Arm9 Loader Hacks installation video, as well as some other cool 3DS videos that I have planned in the coming few days and weeks. As always, thanks heaps for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Cheers, guys and gals. Peace.